on just one station, a partially deaf teen on the road to recovery after getting hit by a car. But he managed to capture a clue before that driver took off. 7 Franklin White has the family's plea. She could have killed my son. Barbara Quintana is angry. He landed on top of her vehicle. After she says a driver struck her son and kept going. For her to bend that rim in such manner, it could only tell you how fast she was going. She says her 15-year-old son, Alex, who's deaf, was hit while riding his bike to school Thursday morning along University Drive near 595 in Davie. The collision sending him flying off his bike and knocked down his hearing aids. And he says the woman who did it never even stopped to help. She didn't uh, get out the car. She only say, uh, are you okay? And just left. Hurt and shaken up, Alex says he was left to fend for himself along the busy roadway, but was able to snap this photo of the car that he says hit him before that driver got away. His mom finding out what happened when she missed a phone call from police, and before she called them back, something told her to call Alex first. I immediately call my son, and the first thing he tells me is, Mom, a car hit me. A car hit me. <laughs> That's when she rushed to his side and got him to the hospital. He sustained um, bruising to his upper thighs. Um, according to the doctor at the hospital, he's going to be sore for a few days. Now, as he continues to heal, his family says they're grateful his injuries are not severe and thankful his quick thinking captured this critical clue that will hopefully help police find the driver who added to his already tough young life. My son already has a history of seizures. He's already deaf in both ears. He already struggles. What, what more can he sustain? Turn yourself in. This is not right. It's not right. Franklin White, Today in Florida. If you saw anything or have any information, call police.